What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Boxy with the special delivery with the Glow Edit Stout. Now with Boxy, she did get a new selectable stout in the 18.10 version of Fortnite. Now the skin itself does actually have this whole Halloween theme and it's just a Glow Edit Stout for the special delivery that we did obtain last year. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So Boxy with the special delivery with the Glow Edit Stout. Now this edit style was reintroduced in the 18.10 uh, update we did obtain today in Fortnite. Now the outfit itself does betray very similar to last year's edit style that we did obtain with the special delivery. But with this one you do have the inner shirt and even the socks being orange. Now the bone themselves does have like an orangey outline and that's basically all they did with this selectable style for boxing. Now both selectable styles are actually very similar but the main difference is that orange color tone. Now I would say that this one actually represents Halloween more since it does have orange and black. So is this edit style better than the original? I don't think it's better but I do think that it is different. I do like the whole orange thing of it and I mean they could have done a little bit more to it. But I mean for what it is for 800 V-Bucks and you do get 3 selectable styles. I do think it's worth the wait. Now with the selectable style again it's not that much of a difference but it's still a well added bonus. So what's my final rating for the special delivery with the glow edit style? I'm gonna have to give the special delivery with the glow edit style a 9 out of 10. I just don't see why you wouldn't pick Boxy now that she does have 3 selectable styles. For 800 V-Bucks you do get 3 really good selectable styles even though 2 of them are very similar to each other they still make quite a difference whenever you are pairing them up with combos. So without further ado guys let's get this combo started. Now for our first combination with Boxy with the special delivery with the glow edit style we are going to be pairing it up with the spectral spine with the orange edit style. Now it does resemble perfectly with this combination just because of the bones she does have on the box. Now the color schemes of it of the shirt and then her socks go perfectly with the backlink. Then for the harvesting tool we're going to be going with the rebel slice. Now the rebel slice harvesting tool was the starter pack that we did obtain during last season with Dizzy. Now this harvesting tool does have orange and black which goes perfectly with the boxy itself. Then for the contra we're going to be going with the silver ribbons. Now a very simple contra but it fits really well with the black and white color scheme it does produce. Then for the glare we're going to be going with the deathstroke destroyer. Now the Deathstroke Destroyer itself is just a regular glider that does have this very cool um, expansion whenever you do open it. It does have the tips of it and even the outline of the glider orange so that's the reason why I picked it. Then for the wrap we're going to be going with the Frangles. Now the Frangles wrap itself does have this very cool animation of triangles going across it that goes really well with the orange aesthetics. Then for our next combination with Boxy we're going to be pairing her up with the Squash Pads. Now what I really do love about this combination it does have the whole Halloween theme. The orange design and black goes really well with the outfit. Then for the harvesting tool we're going to be going with the sea scorpion. Now the sea scorpion is actually a forgotten harvesting tool but it's very simple. The all black aesthetics it does have goes really well with the black and orange from the skin. Then for the control we're going to be going with the jack o lantern. Now the jack o lantern control is just two pumpkins you do have on both hands. It does go perfectly with the whole Halloween theme and the orange aesthetics. Then for the glider we're going to be going with the Forerunner. Now the Forerunner glider itself does have a very simple orange design to it but that's all you need for this combination to work. Then for the wrap we're going to be going with the call sign skull. Now the call sign skull itself is just a simple wrap that does have orange and black which goes perfectly with this combination just because of the color scheme it does have. Then for our next combination with Boxy we're going to be pairing it up with the tire fire. Now the tire fire itself does have this very cool magma effect on it that goes perfectly with the design and color scheme. For the harvesting tool we're going to be going with the bash burner. Now the bash burner harvesting tool the only way to obtain it if you do purchase the punk skin. I do believe it's going to return this Halloween and it's just a perfect interpretation and color scheme with the outfit. Then for the control we're going to be going with the lava. Now the lava control is just self explanatory. It's just lava coming from both hands and feet and it does match really well with the whole fire series you do have on your back lane. Then for the glam we're going to be going with the IO stealth cell. Now the IO stealth cell itself does have this orange design to it that goes really well with the cosmetic look of box. Then for the wrap we're going to be going with the call sign wolf. Now similar to that of the last wrap we did use, the Cosine Wolf is a very subtle orange design to it and it just fits very well because it's very simple. Then for our next combination with Boxy, we're going to be pairing it up with the Extra Round. Now similar to that of the Harvesting Tool, the Extra Round was actually Dizzy's um, back name of choice that we did obtain during last season and it's very simple but effective with the orange and black design. Then for the Harvesting Tool, we're going to be going with the Carvers. Now we are going to be entering the whole Halloween theme recently so the Carvers was just needed with this combination to work. 
Then for the control, we're going to be going with the satellite. Now the satellite control itself is just fireflies leaving the body. It matches perfectly and overall fits the whole thing. For the glider, we're going to be going with the web umbrella. Now the web umbrella itself does have this very cool uh, web um, pattern on top of it that goes really well with the whole Halloween theme. We are going with boxing. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Inferno. Now the Inferno wrap itself does have this very cool orange and black curse scheme that goes really well with the outfit. Then for next combination with Boxy, we are going to be pairing her up with the Goody Gold. Now, now we are going to be going with the whole pumpkin theme and this was just needed. The Goody Gold itself is just a pumpkin stuffed with candy and it just goes really well with the whole Halloween theme. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Smash O' Lantern. Now the Smash O' Lantern harvesting tool was obtainable during last for Nightmares and it fits the whole theme. It does have the pumpkin on it and just the whole for Nightmares theme goes really well with this combination. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the Drop Jet. Now the Drop Jet, you did obtain it during last season and it does have the flames themselves that look very cool and very terrifying. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the One Shot. The One Shot glider itself with the simplistic look and the all matte black finish was just a perfect fit. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Jackal Pattern. The Jackal Pattern itself, it is orange and black. It does have little decals or emoticons of pumpkins on it which was needed with this combination to work. Then for last combination with Boxy, we're going to be pairing it up with the Creep Fright. Now the Creep Fright itself is just a spooky backlink that does have fries and it does have uh, crossbones on it. The design of it, the whole skeleton theme was just needed because she is boxy and she does have a skeleton imprint on the boxes themselves. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Reaper. Now the Reaper harvesting tool is an iconic harvesting tool for Fortniteers. Now it does have this whole creepy vibe to it and it just matches really well. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the Spectral Essence. The Spectral Essence control itself does have a wind control on both hands and feet, which gives a perfect fit for boxing. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the Weeping Crow. Now the Weeping Crow glider does have this very terrifying look to it. It does have these mechanical wings and it just looks very cool and terrifying that just fits really well. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Boogeyman. Now the Boogeyman wrap itself is an iconic wrap. It is very simple and effective with any skin that does have black. Now for the honorable mentions with Boxy, with the special delivery with the Glow Edit Stout, we are going to be focusing more on the orange color scheme. Anything with orange, white, and even black or a combination of all three colors is going to fit really well with this combination. Now those are the 6 combinations I did find for Boxy with a special delivery with the Glow Edit Style on. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos for fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you guys want to support the channel, my code is ENIGMAKID, all caps, two Ds, all together. Each time you guys use my code in the item shop or the Epic Games Store, I do get a small percentage of it and it really helps this channel grow. And if you guys have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media and Discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.